G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back playing Horizon on the PS4, and I have a guide for you on how to get some of the best weapons in the game. Uh, this is obtained by going to the Lodge. Now, the Lodge is like a hunter's lodge, which can be located in Meridian, a big human settlement located in the west of the map. Now, to get access to this, you're going to need to have at least three half sun medals, which can be found at the hunting grounds. But if you followed my guides, which are going to be linked in the uh, description below or at the end of the video, you should have no problem and you should have all 15 of the blazing medals by now. But otherwise, if you just want to come look around, you only need to complete three half trials at the second level of badges. So once you gain access to this area, you're going to be able to talk to a quartermaster called Adaba, and she's going to ask you to retrieve the Blazing Sun medals in exchange for some powerful weapons. Now, you can unlock these weapons in increments. I think it is every five medals you get. I think you unlock a weapon, but for me, all I did was get all the medals and come here and hand them in. Which is good because you actually get a special piece of dialogue if you do it that way. So if you followed my guides, then you should have really no problem at all unlocking these. So all you do is walk up to the uh, the guide and follow the command prompts. And then she will give you your three lodge weapons. Now the lodge weapons are really, really quite powerful. They... the... Bow is pro is not the best bow in the game damage wise, but status wise it has some really powerful status effects on it. So she will give you three weapon boxes. They, she won't straight up give you the weapons. You just have to go into your treasure, uh, treasure or yeah treasure boxes section of your inventory and unlock the three boxes. I actually ran out of inventory space when I was doing this, so yeah, expand your inventory space a little bit before you do this one. Anyway, we got the three weapons, the Lodge Ropecaster, the Lodge Blast Sling, and the Lodge Warbow. The Blast Sling is really good, it has quite good stats, three modification slots. The Ropecaster has good base stats and three modification slots, and the Lodge Warbow has the three mod slots, and it also has Shock Ammo, Freeze Ammo, or Ice Ammo, and Corruption Ammo. So a really, really good status bow for later on in the game. But these things really shine when you mod them. Now I modded my Warbow with all ice modifications. For my sling, I gave it all damage modifications. And for my rope caster, I gave it all handling, so it shoots faster. And you can see the combination of these three is really quite powerful. Now this is not the only way to take out a Thunderjaw, but I thought why not have a little bit of fun with our new weapons. So I started off with my rope caster just to immobilize the guy. And you'll see the firing speed is really quite fast on this one. I get four or five slings out really, really quick. Then I switch to my lodge warbow with the freeze arrows. And I put about four arrows, arrows into him and then he gets that freeze status, which means he's gonna take increased damage. And then I switch to the blast caster or the Blast Sling with the uh, Sticky Mines. The Sticky Mines do the most amount of damage, but they lag a bit. Uh, you can see I did 960 damage, 1337 damage, 416, and the end one, 4163 damage. This thing is an absolute beast. If you can use the status effects and the Rope Caster to your advantage and then launch some Proximity Mines, you can pretty much take out any enemy in the game really, really, really easy. It's uh, a fantastic combination of weapons. Anyway guys, I hope these weapons have helped you out and I hope you enjoyed the video as well as the Hunting Ground series. If you haven't seen that series yet, then go down to the description below and there'll be a link there or you can click any of the little things that pop up at the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or suggestions, then leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Moo!